another edition of Wicca for today. Today I want to talk to you about how to make holy water and at its best. And you're going to need a few major ingredients and a few major tools to do this with and I've got them all right here laid out. I've got a cup full of strained or purified bottled water or so on uh, as long as it's been cleansed of all the chlorine that you possibly can. Um, I suggest to people go ahead and buy a bottle of uh, natural spring water you know or purified water at the store. You're going to need a libation dish. You're going to need a teaspoon of rosemary. You're going to need three teaspoons or a tablespoon of distilled white vinegar only. You're going to need one athame or one wand. And if you're in the Christian religion, you can use your, your, uh, your cross on your necklace to do the uh, the charging of the uh, salt and you're going to need an eighth of a teaspoon of sea salt for this. This is my sea salt dish. I like it very much. But uh, distilled white vinegar here. Okay and so we're going to get started. First I'm going to take my libation dish that's my magic practice dish that I like to either burn things in at times or mix things in or put in while I'm in ritual to later give to the earth. Right now we're going to use it as the creation of my holy water. And uh, so first off, what I do is I take my sea salt in its dish and my athame. And I place the end of my athame up and the point of the athame down and into the salt dish itself till it meets with the salt. Therefore, the point of it submerging into the salt. And I lift my hand and I say, Lords and ladies, gods of the air, gods and goddesses of the air, hear my prayer. Come unto me now that we may do this task. Gods and goddesses of the air, grant me this my prayer. Cleanse, consecrate, and purify the salt that it be made a tool for my use, that all that is dark, negative, or evil be casted from it, that it be made a tool for my altar, and all that it is used upon shall be cleansed and made holy, purified from all evil. Blessed be. In the name of the Almighty Deities, so be it. And I inscribe the symbol of a cross or a pentagram or whatever is the symbol of my faith into the salt with the point of my athame. And I lift one hand again and I picture luminescent white light spiraling from all over the air and coming down and into a point almost as though a hurricane whipping up a tornado and the tornado energy spiraling down and into my hand and moving its way through my body and then up and into my arm on the other side and down into my athame. My athame beginning to glow bright, luminescent, and then down into the salt, the salt vessel beginning to glow luminescent. And then all of that light sucks up and into my salt vessel with all of its power and all of its might. And then I remove my athame or my wand. 
placing it back down on my table. And then I take several pinches of the salt. Praying to my deities, Diana, Cernunnos, Isis, Osiris, Green Man, Green Lady, Adonai, Manu, Blessed Be. Cleanse, consecrate, and purify this water that it be made a tool for my use, that nothing dark, negative, or evil may be a part of it, and that it shall be made a tool for my altar and cast out all that is dark, negative, or evil from the things that I use it upon. Blessed be. And then I take my vinegar and my rosemary and I put about a tablespoon of my distilled white vinegar into my rosemary dish and I let it steep for just a little while. Stirring it up or whatever to get it to steep faster, whatever will make it faster. All right. And basically you're just wanting the elements within the rosemary to come down and into the vinegar. And you're kind of creating a rosemary vinegar. And then once that's done, you take the purest of the liquid, trying to leave behind all the rosemary particles. You want to take about one half a teaspoon I'd say about an eighth of a teaspoon to a half of a teaspoon. And you place it into the holy water that you're mixing. And then set your ingredients aside. And once more, you'll stir it with the prayer of the lords and ladies, gods and goddesses of the air, hear my prayer. Guardians of the watchtower, be with me. Shield me from all that is dark, negative, or evil within this undertaking. That the lords and ladies may come forward now and bless this, the water of my making, that it be made pure, holy, and nothing dark, negative, or evil may ever be a part of it. And it shall likewise cast all that is dark, negative, and evil from the things that I would use. Blessed be. And I would pour it into my libation dish. And with the amount of the ingredients that I've got in there, it smells nice, fresh, and clean, and not at all like vinegar. You don't want a vinegar smell whatsoever. Just a nice and clean smell. And that we have, for a cup of water, what I suggest is an eighth of a teaspoon of your vinegar mix. Okay, leaving behind the particles of the rosemary. You don't want that floating around in there whatsoever. You know, and if it does, then you can just kind of strain it off through a paper towel uh, before you do the final blessing. I offer now of this vessel of holy water unto thee. And I ask that you bless this for me and unto me that it will help me to fulfill my task, that it will fulfill my needs. So be it. 
And then at this point, your holy water is made. Now, I like to burn a black candle and a purple candle throughout this ritual. And I like to burn a sage smudge wand close by so that it is all uh, keeping the air around me cleansed and purified. You know, so that nothing dark or evil will get through. And you have those high powers watching over you and the guardians of the watchtower. But remember in all things that you do, you want to really call upon the guardians of the watchtower to come down and protect your circle before you call the lords and ladies or whatever deity that you wish to call upon. Because, well, your gods and your goddesses shouldn't be forced to step on any ground that's unholy or unready for them, you know. So you might use whatever holy water you've already got created from the last time, sprinkle it around, burn your sage, call upon the guardians of the watchtower before you call upon your gods and goddesses. That way, you know, you don't subject them to anything that feels kind of dirty to them. Okay? Anyway, this is Lady Leanna signing off, and I hope you enjoyed this edition of Wicca for Today, and you have my brightest blessings to go with you. And uh, my love is well. Take care of yourself.